When I dived onto the trailer for the game Bonkies, I thought, oh, I'm going to be reading lots of dirty jokes in the comments and that will be that. But actually what I found was a video for a really good looking collaborative puzzle game. So out on a whim, I went and bought it. <laughs> and it's one of the best random purchases that I've done in 2021. This is my review to try and explain why. Bonkies is playable for one to three characters, or players, sorry, uh, and you play as characters and animals in the Bonkies space program. You're going around building up various different buildings, vehicles, or whatever it is, out of Bonky blocks, and they appear onto the stage from conveyor belts, and what you've got to do is pick them up and manoeuvre them and arrange them so that they match the outline of whatever it is that you're trying to make for that level. Now each level has a time limit, so you need to be able to do it within a time limit, but you also need to be able to do a variety of different shapes in a level, because it's never just one outline that you need to sort. And that's part of the trick, because each stage makes something more and more complicated as you go along. So it could be that it's just adding more blocks to the pile, it could be that you're trying to build, for instance, a space rover and you need to start making it move by adding wheel blocks uh, and then trying to, like, drag things across. The way how all of this works is that you manoeuvre around your space animal with one stick, but then you manoeuvre around the direction of where your giant mechanical arm is with the face buttons on your controller and that takes a little bit of getting used to because it will stick out in one direction you'll be moving another and I kept on wanting to twin stick shooter the controls and it doesn't work like that because you're using the face buttons so there's an initial kind of brain collaborate recollaboration element that goes on with bonkers before it kind of clicks and then you're like ah I get it now once you've then got your arm where you need it to be, you will then press and hold one of the um, trigger buttons so that you can basically grab onto something and drag it. But different blocks have different weight and different sizes, and it's obviously the bigger the heavier, so then you need more of your mates to come along and try and grab and drag stuff as you go. And because your arm can only be moved in like the four directions with the four face buttons, it gives a slight element of purposeful jank for carnage. <laughs> um, and so you're all trying to like push and pull things from different directions and working together. It does all come together quite nicely. But obviously, if you're all trying to pick up something that's just too heavy, it doesn't move. So then you're like, come on, friends, all work together and pull in the same direction. Different blocks have different attributes. So there's glass blocks that will crack and then smash if you're a bit clumsy with them. There's ice ones that will just slide off uh, and keep going if you kind of sling it rather than drop it and place it precisely. There are massive stone blocks that cannot be moved by you and you alone. And as you go through the different levels, you start to unlock more tools for your tool basket to play with. And some of those include things like thruster boosters so that you can then like attach these thrusters to different blocks and then have it push and fly off in different directions. And that's quite handy because some of the levels are not necessarily about building something, but it's about deconstructing something back down again. And so adding on these rockets are good fun, um, but they're also funny because you can just attach them to your fellow players and then you watch them kind of spiral off to the other side of the world. Um, so it does require an awful lot of pre-planning, but also precision in being able to get things right because it's got that element of low gravity um, chaos to it. The game itself is entirely playable as well as a single player experience with its own unique levels and I just wanted to give a shout out for that because I really appreciate the fact that what is fundamentally a multiplayer game built from the ground up has its own single player mode that is also built from the ground up too and I wished more games like this gave more attention to a single player experience because it absolutely works as a single player experience it's just that it's more chaotic when you've got other players in causing carnage. So yeah, really pleasantly surprised. In a world where everyone's trying to be the next Overcooked by basically reskinning the Overcooked formula but just with a different job, 
Bonkis manages to capture that same level of chaos and confusion without it feeling anything like an overcooked game at all, and for that I think it deserves an awful lot of praise. Written review will be over on highplanegames.com. Don't sleep on this one, it's pretty decent. Higher Plane Games is part of the Higher Plane Network, a completely independent media outlet supported by people like you. The goal is to create the best possible content that cultivates a richer indie scene for games as well as music and entertainment. To find out more and to get involved, visit patreon.com forward slash higher plane network. Your support makes all the difference, and in return you'll gain access to bonus content and downloads. Thank you for watching.